all right so I'm doing a 600k Audax um, in a couple of days and I'm gonna be riding around on my fixed gear bike I quite get often get asked under my videos uh, what bike am I actually riding so I'm gonna talk to you about my bike today this is a video purely about what bike I'm riding and hopefully I'll be able to record another video during the event but this is the event's kind of a dress rehearsal for Paris Press Paris um, this is the bike that I'm hoping to ride but I need to know that I can do the distance on it I need to know that the kit's going to be reliable I need to know that my knees aren't going to explode or at least have some confidence in that because I've had knee troubles in the past uh, so I'm going to ride my fixed gear around this 600k event it's the Steam Express which goes from Bristol to Exeter I think and then kind of isn't it Maidenhead and then up to Oxford and then back to Bristol it's a bit of a trek 600k's it's going to be some sleeping involved in that one for sure it's not going to be fast like the Brian Chapman I'm on the wrong wrong bit of kit to be going fast uh, anyway to the bike um, I'll show you the bike this is the bike so I don't really talk much about these the bike during these videos so anyway details on this one um, so you've got a fixed gear and the ratio I run is 48 chain ring 18 sprocket so 48 18 that gives me about 70 gear inches uh, the tire is a 20 28 28 C tire so it's nice and comfortable uh, the bike's got canty cantilever brakes V brakes um, which yeah they're effective they're effective they're fine I've replaced the noodle see this noodle it's usually a metal that's usually a metal component but it gets bunged up easily so I've replaced the noodle with something a bit more robust this cable outer the cable outer goes all the way through around that bend so it's not interrupted and it's a very very smooth uh, motion so it's very smooth mechanism so it doesn't get stuck lighting I've got this which is an Omni 5 which will last 60 hours on constant so that's my normal light and then I've got this light which is if if I feel like my life's in danger I'm in a highly trafficked area in dawn or dusk partial light situation it's particularly dangerous I like to use this which is a bit of a anti-social light which uh, makes me feel like I'm gonna stay alive a little bit longer with all the people driving cars around um, feel like that keeps me safer so I'll have that on some of the time but that's my main light just a constant this can flash as well but I, I think I have it on constant uh, so charge spoon saddle charge spoon is particularly comfortable uh, it came with this bike this is a 100 and 180 quid bike off eBay this is Come, came with this saddle uh, I get on really well with that saddle it's nice um, I've got mud guards this is a kind of a commuter all-weather bike um, and the mud guards are probably going to stay on to be honest then they have me bother to take them off and there's a small chance of rain on Sunday yeah I'm gonna leave them on I've taken the opportunity to put some high-vis tape on the back as well actually hang on Yeah, so that high-vis tape is um, reflective, extra safety. Uh, I've taken all the tools out of the bottle cages. So I'm going to have two bottles full of water. Or one, one full of sugar, potentially, and one water. Um, all the tools and stuff are actually in this. So this is my luggage, luggage system. Um, I've got a basket. Okay. In the basket, there's a bag. So I made this bag, which kind of goes in, and then inside the bag you've got numerous track bars, naked bars, inner tubes, multi tool, gels. Um, it's not fully packed. I'm going to have a lot of clothing in there as well. Um, but this this uh, elasticated net allows me to have loads and loads and loads of clothing 
however much clothing I have, I just put it in there and it this net just keeps it nice and secure. I got a bell. Kinda need one of them. Wahoo's going there. If I have the Wahoo out front it's just gonna um get in the way really if I have it out front because of the luggage. So the, the Wahoo's on the stem. Um the thing that makes this a magical bike is this not really used this in anger yet but it's a sine wave revolution so the sine wave revolution is zip tied to the bottom of the basket and it charges devices charges USB devices um, in conjunction with that dynamo so a bit of a mission to be honest but I did some soldering use my um, use my soldering skills from primary school, now is it primary, no, secondary school, secondary school soldering skills. So I've got the supernova light linked to the dynamo, I've got two sets of wires coming directly off the dynamo, and then these are golden bullet connectors, I'll show the golden bullet connectors, <laughs> don't know if I could take that off, there you go. So, golden bullet connectors allow the uh, the sine wave revolution to be connected and disconnected easily. So the wires for that go doo -doo 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 -doo, up there, up there, around there, and to the sine wave, and I can charge whatever I like. So just replace that USB with a different USB if I need something that different charge. So I've got two different ones. I've got USB type C for my phone and a micro USB for the Wahoo. And that's about it. Over on the other side, got some emergency nog lights just for fun and emergencies. Uh, front wheel is a hand built by Gary Harris TB14 H Plus Sun rim. So it's a, a box section rim. They're quite nice. They're wide as well, so the 28C tyres sit nicely on them. Uh, what else? Well, the rack. The rack's a Nitto M12. It only works with cantilever brake bikes, V-brake bikes, because it actually mounts directly on the on the brake studs. Uh, so that's the luggage system. I'm preferring the drop bar. The, yeah, the drop bars at the moment. I haven't had time to change them. I was going to change them to uh, bull horns because these are absolute horrible to climb in. To be honest, your fingers get really uncomfortable underneath there so I might be changing them for bullhorns in the future but at the minute this will do so that's the bike don't think there's anything I haven't shown you uh, the rear wheel I guess I'll tell you about the rear wheel the hub is a um, Nova Tech rear hub the, be the first set of bearings have already burnt through and went gravelly and developed play in them so I've had them replaced so I'm on my second set of bearings and them not that impressed by the hub I mean hope hubs spin for you know 20 30 thousand miles before you've got to touch them but this is um Novatech ones not not quite as good you've got to replace the bearings every now and again uh, and that is laced up to a rim which is a Mavic 319 touring rim which is 25 mil wide very wide very heavy 580 grams instead of the normal 460 that you might expect on a normal road bike rim. Uh, it's very robust. I do most of my braking on the back at the moment because I'm trying to protect my front rim. <laughs> uh, so I don't, I, pff, trying to kill this wheel off to be fair. I'll get a new one built with a nice light rim I think in the future. So there we go. Magical bicycle made magical by the dynamo energy and uh, sine wave revolution so there you go, I've shown you the bike now all that's left is to ride this Paris Press Paris dress rehearsal ride see if I can get around, quite looking forward to it see you in the next video